In this video, I'm going to be talking about why is the unbiased estimated this instead of say, uh, so exactly the same top, but why don't I divide by n? So, I mean, I've always been curious if the unbiased estimate of, uh, of the mean is simply sum of all the x's divided by n, which is intuitive. Why don't I divide by divide through by n for the variance as well? So that's the question that I'm going to be answering today. So let's let's take a look at it. Now, before we get started, uh, we need to set some ground rules, and that's to say, I'm going to assume that the x's are normally distributed, right? So with a mean mu and variance sigma squared. Um, also, I will mention that the, the expectation of xi squared is the mean squared plus the variance squared. Okay, so the this this basically uh, comes from this equation. So the variance of xi is equal to e of xi squared minus minus the uh, mean squared mean all squared okay so just rearrange this back to there and then you end up getting this term all right so we, we set we set the basics let's go ahead and uh, get started with how this goes through all right so I'm going to, I'm going to be I'm going to, I'm going to start off with this the second one right so I'm going to go ahead and find what is the expectation of xi minus mu hat all squared divided through by n. Okay, so basically the expectation of all of this. Now remember the n I can take out, right? And also um, the expectation of the sum of the variables, whatever it is. So this on the side is simply the expectation of those individual variables, right? Y1, you know, Y2, and so on. Right, so we I'm going to exploit exploit that, and 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 I'm going to take out n as well. So this will end up being the summation of e of, and I'll take out one and all the way outside. X i minus mu hat squared. Okay, so I haven't done anything spectacular just yet. Just. Uh, played around with this format over here. Okay, so let's now expand what's inside over here. So I have one on n sum of expectation of inside. This will end up being e x i squared minus two x i mu hat plus mu hat squared. Okay, so now. For, for the for the time being, I'm going to forget about these two things over here and focus entirely on um, on the expectation of that bit. Okay, let's let's move on. So, the expectation. Oh, forgive me for this. Okay. So the expectation of this thing. The, the trick is really to expand out what mu hat means. So mu hat, from our previous definition, is xi the sum of xi's on n, and then I also had this extra term that is taking the square of this. It'll end up being divided by n squared, right? So basically, it's this thing over here which is squared. So I had to find the expectation of this thing. Now. This term is nice and easy because if I come back to over here, I can just use this result and I can say, hey, this is just going to be mu squared plus sigma squared. And by the way, notice I'm not I'm not writing mu i squared because the reason is my initial assumption said that all my xi's, all of them, are uh, distributed with mean mu and sigma squared. All right, so they are independent but identically distributed, IID. Okay, so coming back to here. So this part over here, um, what I really had to do is find 
xi multiplied by a uh, whole bunch of other xi, so x1 plus x2 dot dot dot, and there will be xi in the middle of there as well, dot 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 plus xn, okay? So that's what I have to do for the second term, right? I took out the 2 and the n outside because that you can do that with expectation terms. And then the last one, so the expectation of that thing over there, I'll, I'll, for now, for the time being, at least I'll just, uh, so as not to confuse things, I'll just write this, xn, so adding up all of these things, times, of course, uh, x1 plus all the way up to xn. Okay, so let's, uh, let's come back to this thing. Okay, this thing over here, now, so I have mu squared plus mu squared as before, 2 on n. What's inside over here? The expectation of xi, so pretend that xi is not x1, right? Um, again, on the side, let me, let me just show you. The expectation of xi and xj is simply e of xi times e of xj. Okay, and the reason is because they're independent. Because they're independent variables, I, I can separate them out. So coming back to this thing, I will I'll be doing that with everything, also with xi, right? So in that case, so remember coming back to this one, uh, this will end up this will end up being mu, this will end up being mu, so I end up with mu squared over here. So I will have n of those terms, but remember actually n minus one of those terms, e of x i squared, I will have enough, I'll actually have this, this term as well, which will just end up being, as before, mu squared plus sigma squared. Okay, so I will have n minus one of uh, mu squared, and then one of these things, these terms, which is plus mu squared plus sigma squared. Now this thing over here is going to be useful when I come come to this this term over here, because when I expand this thing out, I will have well, there'll be n squared terms because I had to remember multiply each and every single one, right? So and then I go to x two and then multiply it through with one x three and so on. In that manner, I will have n squared terms. Now what's important is how will those terms span out? It's useful to think about a little uh, matrix or a square if you're familiar with them. So basically this is what I'm doing. So if I multiply x1 by x1, I will get x1 squared. Um, x1 by x2. You know, you get the idea, right? So x1, xn. But the important thing is the diagonal will be xn squared, right? And the off diagonal would just be uh, everything else, so like two different terms multiplied. So what's what's going to end up happening here is I will have the expectation of all these things summed up, and of course everything else as well. Um, so the sum of the expectation of what's in the in the diagonal will end up being I will have n terms of them, m squared plus sigma squared. Everything off diagonal would just be coming back to this story back here. So it will be um, mu squared. But the question is, how many terms do I have of them? The reason I did the square is because in a square, there's a n squared terms. I just got rid of the diagonal. So there will be n squared minus n terms of mu squared. Okay, I hope, I hope you followed that argument. All right, so summing these things up, I will end up having so those two are exactly the same. Inside here, when I add this thing up, I will end up with n of mu squared plus a single sigma squared. All right. And then the third term will uh, simplify down to uh, this, this minus n mu squared will cancel off with this n mu squared. Okay, so that's gone. So I will end up with the n sigma squared plus uh, n squared mu squared. 
Okay. All right. So let's expand and simplify these things out. It turns out that all the all the mu squares will cancel out. So because mu squared, that will give me a minus mu squared, and then this will end up with as a single mu squared. So all the mu squares are gone. But the sigma squares end up being this. Is what I will end up with the sigma squares. Okay, so uh, taking n to be the common denominator, I will end up having uh, n times n minus one. Hey, guess what? N minus one sigma squared. All right, and there you go. So this is the expectation of only this term. So the expectation of this to finish up with, so it's just the expectation of that that we have. So the expectation is the sum of all of those things. So remember up here, I didn't do a sum. It was just for a single i that I did. All on n was what the question was being asked. would end up being, um, well, for the top bit, so let's take out the n. Okay, so taking out the n from here. The summation of this thing, I have n of them, will be times n times n minus 1 on n sigma squared. All right, so basically my final term will end up being a n minus 1 on n times sigma squared. So when n goes to infinity, this this thing over here will go to one. So hey, that's great. It'll it'll be more or less on well, moving towards being unbiased, but not quite. Okay. So this is really the problem. Um, but that's because I, I did this n factor over here, right? Suppose instead I had done a if I had uh, n minus 1 over here instead, then it would have cancelled off with this guy over here. Okay, so these two are cancelled off, and then it would have ended up at just sigma squared. Okay, so the expectation of this thing would have ended up at sigma squared had I done n minus 1. Okay, so that's, that's really the story. Um, it all comes down to well, having this single sigma squared term up here which kind of uh, plays havoc um, so yeah so that that's that's basically why we end up doing n minus one so if you have any questions or comments please let me know but uh, that's it thanks for watching